Hi everybody, welcome to the Universe Sim. I don't know if you've heard of this game or not. It was kickstarted a while back. There's been a couple of trailers for it. Uh, it's something that has been sort of on my radar for some time uh, and I've been quite excited for. And now, finally, um, thanks to the devs, I've got early access to it. It's um, in pre-alpha. This, uh, this pre-alpha term sort of um, emerges again. Um, pre-alpha, I guess, is um, just before alpha, which would normally mean that there's not really much there, but uh, this game is looking good so far. I mean, it's the pre-alpha, the devs have stressed that it's not a reflection on the final game, and it's just to test like the core systems of the game, um, just to give you sort of an idea of how everything's going to work or whatever. Um, there's one age available in the pre-alpha, and that's the Stone Age, with some limited technology and stuff like that, but it's just to give you an idea of how the game works. But so far, so good. We've got a planet here, Mother Planet, uh, and it's a god game. So you're a god, and you help your civilization, um, you know, spread like some sort of scourge across the whole planet. Um, and then, I don't know if you can actually, like, venture out. I mean, the fact that you can tilt and look into deepest, darkest space makes me think that maybe you'll be able to go to, like, another planet eventually. That would be cool. But for now, we're in the Stone Age, and there's no chance of that happening. Uh, so first things first, we're gonna zoom in, which you can do. Look at this. It's really nice, isn't it? You can just zoom up all around your mother planet. I think you can rename it later on, but maybe not in the pre-alpha. But anyway, we can zoom around and we can find a suitable location for our civilization. Man, I love games like this. Let's find a suitable location underneath this thunderstorm and close to the mountains of Skyrim. Uh, which are right here. Actually, we need a lot of resources for our civilization. We need to be close to water, apparently. We need trees and rocks and uh, probably some food as well if we can manage it. Let's just like zoom in past this storm. <laughs> there we go. All right, it's raining like a bastard out here and there's wild coyotes. Let's not set up our civilization near the wild coyotes. Let's try to avoid the wild coy- Wow, look, there's a whale in a lake. Whale? I mean, it's not planet Earth, so anything is possible, right? Okay, this looks like a suitable place. Look, there's a bit of food. There's everything that we need right here. We're going to set up close to the side of the lake. Yes. We have done it. Great. And all of our dudes come out. It looks like we have two adults. One who is dressed like a reindeer. And two children as well. And off they go. They're going to go off and explore the surrounding area. They're the first people on this wretched Earth to ever set foot on this wretched earth and do stuff. They came out of nowhere, and now they're ready to partay. All right, we need to get them doing stuff. Let's get them harvesting some resources, like wood and stone. Uh, and then once the kids grow up, they can help with the food and the construction. We can build some huts for these people. We can give them some nice boudoirs to reproduce in so that we can make even more babies. And once the babies come out, they can grow up into adults and have sex with each other as well, which is probably not right. Uh, we're going to have a really weak gene pool at the end of all this. But that's how our civilization is going to be defined, I guess. Anyway, we have a whole bunch of wood stockpiled that we're taking back to, which is, I guess, our town hall. I mean, if you've played Banished or, you know, Age of Empires or... Well, basically any sort of civilization building real-time game. Uh, this is like a sort of thing, isn't it? You set your town hall and that's like the epicenter. Well, they actually call it the epicenter in this game of your civilization. That's where it all starts. And it's no different in this game. Great. Everybody is gathering the required resource. I think the babies grow really quick in the pre-alpha too. I think they become adults like super duper quick. So what we're going to do is um, we're just going to sort of blast through some of this stuff. The pre There's not really much in the pre-alpha, um, but I thought it was worth recording this anyway just to show you where it's at. And because the game's not actually out, I think there's a demo available that you can download and try out, but I don't know what features are actually in it. I don't know if there's more in the pre-alpha or whatever. But now that I've got access to this game, I can do more videos later. Once they've added more stuff in, and everything, that's going to be great. I'm really, really excited for this game. It looks... it's just my bag. I love kind of these kind of games, you know, like these god games, sort of management, city building sort of games. I like games where I can just sort of say, hey, do this, and sit back for a couple of hours and just watch it all unfold. I, I really like that. It's very relaxing, and it's just, just a nice way to play games and enjoy games. Great. All right, so, like I said, 
once these adults are all grown up, we're going to get them building stuff. We'll build a couple of huts. We'll check out some of the buildings. Uh, we'll take a look at like some of the research and stuff. And, um, and we'll see what we think. Okay, well, the babies have grown up now. We have uh, four workers available. So we're going to... Or three. <laughs> we have we have three workers. We have four workers available, but one of them is maybe being mauled by a bear somewhere. I'm not sure. Anyway, oh no, I guess one of them was busy making love in the town hall. Which is kind of gross when you think about it. But you have to be realistic here. This is probably the kind of stuff that happened in this day and age. You know, now it's probably socially unacceptable to make love in public in your town hall, your local town hall. Um, there's sort of rules and regulations and probably bylaws prohibiting that but in the Stone Age probably not so much It was probably accepted that you were just gonna go in there and make a bit of love or whatever and reproduce and stuff And it was all good for like the rest of the settlement or whatever. So that's fine. It looks like we have a hut uh, Has been earmarked right next to the water as well. Gosh the land value on this one's gonna be pretty high It might be our first super mansion. Of course. Um, I say that it's just gonna be a stone hut um, where some cavemen are going to live, but I mean, in relation to the time, could be considered a super mansion, so there is that too. Great, okay, so we actually have a construction worker. We have um, somebody who can go out and forage for food. We don't actually have too much food stockpiled right now, but we're not actually consuming too much food either, uh, so that's probably okay. I think food at this point consists of like flower petals and probably oranges from the orange tree here, and well, there and everywhere. There's a couple of orange trees up here, too. And then further afield, I think there's, like, other stuff, too. It's pretty interesting. I don't think we're going to actually get to the point where we're going to be harvesting metals or, or or oils in the Stone Age. But um, it sort of leads in. If you've seen trailers and stuff for this game, there's some pretty cool stuff. Uh, well, definitely, like, in the modern ages where, you know, you can see planes flying above your planet. You can see little satellites orbiting the planet. There's like all these like oil rigs and roads and cars and stuff and that was when I saw that at first I was like, oh my god, this is the game for me. I have to be able to do that kind of stuff. Sadly, you can't do that in pre-alpha, but I will wait. I don't mind waiting for that to be implemented. I'm pretty excited. Let's take a look at the technology tree while we're here. We have a whole bunch of technology that we can go in and research. We have uh, like stockpiling, sort of like farming and wheelbarrowing and stuff. Uh, this is like language and sort of like the social stuff, like community. There's tools down here as well you can look into. And then adaptation and awareness, I guess, is this sort of like fire, uh, graveyards and medicine and stuff. And awareness, planet name and god name. Uh, some of this stuff is in the game, some of it isn't. I mean, we'll go into stockpiling, I think. We'll research that. And uh, we'll also go into storage and um, queue that up so that it researches right after. So it's just go in there, click it, and uh, come out. And you can see the stuff is just researching. I don't know who's researching it right now. I don't know if it's like a sort of a, a collective thing, you know, these people are just like have a hive mind and they're just all coming to the realization that they need to store stuff or whatever. But I'm sure that that'll be elaborated on later on as the game like progresses or whatever. Okay, so we also have some construction options here too. They're very limited as well in the pre-alpha, but we can uh, build farms once we've unlocked farming. Uh, we can build a warehouse, which we're in the process of sort of unlocking and upgrading right now. Uh, we could actually probably do with building a warehouse. Um, but before we actually build a warehouse, uh, look, there's like a cafe, there's a constructor's hut. Before we actually build a warehouse, we need to build this constructor's hut. And we need to actually uh, identify some people to be construction workers for our Neanderthal civilization. So we'll do that right now. Um, whoever is on building duty right now, and I think we actually have an additional worker. We'll get two people onto building duty, uh, and hopefully once they're done building this lakeside hut, uh, they can build this constructor's office, which is just that, a constructor's office. You assign people to it, and then they go out and they build like the cooler things. And I think generally your nuggets will just build like huts as and where they need them. Um, but they won't actually build any of this stuff that you sort of identified them to build without the uh, constructor's office. So, worth noting. Anyway, let's get the warehouse plot down as well. We're gonna put this one like, I guess we can put it like right next to the town center so that it's not too far to 
actually take the resources. That should be okay. And it looks like the constructor's hut is under construction by our uh, two construction workers. We seem to be working hard on not only the lakeside residence, but the constructor's hut as well. And uh, you can see you just sort of do this onwards and upwards and you expand out and before you know it, the whole planet is covered in cavemen. And, um, and I guess through the technology research and everything, you just advance your civilization through the ages and stuff. Oh, look, we just finished researching storage as well. Let's get into uh, agriculture so that we can unlock the farm too. Because, um, I don't know, I guess farming is like pretty good. It's probably better than eating wild berries um, as a people and a civilization. Maybe having a diet of just wild berries is not the best. You know, maybe we want to like throw some curveballs into the mix like some turnips or, you know, some cabbages or just even some lettuce or something. Oh gosh, you could even make like a lettuce berry salad. Should be nice, actually. It's probably better than, you know, just the alternative, which is just berries. Anyway, it looks like there's some more love happening in the town hall. I don't know if you can eventually make like a hotel or just like a really seedy motel for these people to go and do their recreational lovemaking in elsewhere. But for now, we're just going to have to make do with this hotel. I like this effect, you look. It's raining. The rain is passing over us as God. And look. See, look, there's raindrops falling on our god goggles. <laughs> That's cute, isn't it? It's really nice. Whoa! Uh, looks like our god goggles are freezing now, too, because it's getting cold. Winter has just struck and we're in the middle of, like, some goddamn blizzard or something. Okay, we'll zoom out a little bit and dry off our god goggles. Fantastic. God, it's just... I fucking love games like this. I can't stress it enough. Make more games like this, everybody, please. I will play all of them to death. I love just watching things happen. I, I'm like a like a real sort of game tourist or, or something. I don't know. I just like, I love this hustle and bustle. Look, what is this? It's like some sort of berry bush has just appeared inside the settlement. And it looks like the lakeside residence is complete. All right. And we now have Mother Planet Constructors H, which we can assign people to. Why? I guess he's putting, changing clothes, changing into like the construction overall or whatever. I just leave this at balanced. I don't think we need to place any sort of special emphasis on repairing or building, uh, especially at this point in the game. And I really have no idea what this means. This thing just sort of slides <laughs> out of control sometimes for whatever reason, and uh, and I don't know what it means. Anyway, in the priorities panel, we currently have six workers, which is pretty good. Uh, we have a whole bunch of food now. It looks like we're consuming 0 0.07 food per whatever, but we have 78.80 food stockpiled. I guess that's good. I mean, that seems to be like a, a massive sort of gap in between those numbers. So that's got to be a good thing, right? I hope so. Uh, anyway, we may find out. We may not. Oh my god. The lovemaking has actually moved. We're now making love in the lakeside residence instead of the town hall, which is probably a darn sight better. I mean, this is a private house. Well, I say private. It looks like somebody just stumbled in on some serious lovemaking. And wow, there was like a queue for lovemaking, actually. There's a whole bunch of people just waiting to make love. All right, great. So um, anyway, this is, uh, this is pretty much it. I mean, there's not too much more to it in the uh, pre-alpha. I don't know why that just slid over there. Um, in terms of the buildings that you can build, like I said, there's not many. I mean, we're researching agriculture now so that we can build some farms and get more food. Uh, but generally, uh, your dudes will just sort of mill around, build huts, make love, and continue expanding. And I guess that's the purpose of the pre-alpha. They just want to show you the core game, the core game mechanics um, as they are, and sort of get you excited for the later stuff. Um, I have access to this game now. I don't think that that access um, is limited to just this build in pre-alpha. I think I'll be able to come back and make more videos as more content is released. At least I hope that that's the case. Uh, because I've played this for a few hours and what little is actually here, I've enjoyed thoroughly actually. And I'm very excited for uh, the rest of this game to be developed and released. Um, like I said, this is definitely my kind of thing. Uh, I really enjoy it these types of games and um, man I just want to build roads and get planes and satellites and other planets and spaceships I just want to see like I want to be able to zoom out here and just see like millions of fucking things happening all over the place to me that is going to be fantastic 
If you're excited for this game and you're looking forward to it and you would like to see more videos from me on it, please leave a like and let me know. Uh, I'm more than happy to come back. I'll be playing the hell out of this game uh, as it's sort of um, expanded on and developed in the future anyway. Uh, so making more videos on it will not be a problem. On the other hand, uh, if you dislike this video or you're not excited for this game, feel free to leave a dislike as well. Uh, it lets me know what people want to see from me and, and what they don't and stuff like that. It's a really good uh, and easy way to get a measurement of that. Great. All right. Well, as usual, thanks for watching. Sorry this one was like kind of short, uh, but again, there's not really much to show you. So uh, I think I've showed you pretty much all I can uh, at this time. Uh, but like I said, I will be back. Um, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.